Hey traders, Raggy here, and in this update, we're in many ways coming full circle from the conversation that we had last Thursday, which is if I were to basically tell you, have I changed my mind since we talked about, I think the S&P is heading lower, the answer is no. But the question that a lot of folks have is, well, Rog, what is this? Why is this market levitating? Why isn't it breaking down? Um, but you know, it's clearly not breaking to the upside either. What is this? Is there a pattern here? What should we take away from this action? And the bottom line is we really can't take away much from this because the psychology, think of each one of those candles as a group of people, as, as millions and millions of people, really. They've been afraid, they've been, they've been happy, they've been afraid again, they've been happy again, and they've just basically been going back and forth in the same range. So when you see a market that's stuck in a range, two things are likely to happen. Well, one, it's going to escape the range at some point. So then the second question is, in which direction? And that's why I still believe uh, likely the, the move is lower. And, and why can I say that with such confidence? Well, let's look at the other indices, right? Before we dive into some of the more minutia within the S&P, what is the NASDAQ doing? It's, it's actually punching down to lower lows. It's below the 200 propulsion. It's got a steady now one, two, three, four, eight red grab candles in a row. The NASDAQ and S&P share something. That is the XLK. The XLK here, what, nine red grab candles in a row. Uh, many, many lower lows, at least lower highs, generally speaking, since the last week of March. So when we look at what around the S&P, what is going on around the S&P, we see that it's pretty weak. Why would the S&P be an exception? Well, the answer is it won't. However, can parts of the S&P be an exception? And this is where, if you're a futures trader, you know, you want to know, well, yeah, what's going to be the, the reason the S&P heads lower? And if you're a futures trader and a stock and ETF options trader like myself, well, yeah, Rog, what's inside? Where is the opportunity? XLF is the number two weighted sector after the XLK in the S&P. Hard to not want to be bearish the XLF, but where? This is where we start looking at the double red stocks within XLF. The stocks within XLF move the XLF. XLF in turn influences the S&P. This is, you know, absolutely classic index sector stock or stock sector index. Whichever way you go, top down or bottom up, you're going to have to look at all three of those groups and understand the synergy. The part of the S&P that's most interesting is XLV. This is the uptrend, and this is actually one of the only uptrends amongst the major sectors of the broader indices. This is the number uh, two weighted sector within the S&P, and it's, uh, sorry, three weighted sector in the S&P, and it's a, it's a top weighted sector in the Dow as well. So if you're looking for corners of the market where there's clarity, look no further than healthcare. And if you're not thinking about the, the pieces of the index, or if you're not thinking about the individual stock as a whole within the sector or the index, you're missing out on the most powerful part of building a watch list, which is relative performance. And this is why I love, you know, working from a futures first approach, all right? So is the S&P still gonna go lower? Yes, these are all the reasons why. However, if you wanna get long the S&P, get long the healthcare corner of the S&P. This is one of the main cylinders firing really well within it. And then if you want to get short a market with a higher degree of confidence, let it be the NASDAQ. Let it be the communications corner of the market. Let it be consumer discretionary or any of the individual stocks within these that are even more bearish than that broader tie, than that sector. And that's what we're going to continue to focus on, the downside of this market. And by the way, What's a bigger macroeconomic reason why? What's another great downtrend pointing in the direction? ZN and ZB, the 10-year and the 30-year bond continue to move lower. Gang, we are coming up on what is likely a rate hike of a half a point in May and a half a point in June. And while the market can say before it happens, oh yeah, this is this is completely discounted. That old saying is true, right? You'll the only idea is everyone has a plan till they're punched in the mouth. A, a two half point hikes in a row, nobody really knows 
what that is going to do in terms of the reverberations in the market. So keep in mind, ZN futures, ZB futures, they're going to continue to head lower. And if you're looking for the sectors relative to that, think about mortgage rates. Think about XHB, ITB. Think about the corners of the market that are not going to do well as mortgage rates go higher. So that's the way this market right now. And these are a lot of different, what seem to be disparate parts of the market. But when you tie them together, as we have in these five minutes, this is how you understand where you want to be thinking long, where you want to be thinking short, and where you want to be able to look at the S&P and say, you know what, I really don't care where you go next. I know where the weakness is and I know where the strength is. And that's the kind of sector oriented analysis that's going to help you become a better futures trader. It's going to help you become a better options stock and ETF trader. So either way you want to go, check out what we're doing over in the Simpler Futures room. Check out what I'm doing over in the Sector Secrets Mastery room. You can see here it's very much going to dovetail, especially in this environment. And if this content's moving the needle for you, Smash that like button on the way out. Leave a question or a comment down below. We check them every single day and I'll see you in the next update. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.